Psalms 29, the very last verse, verse 11. The Lord will give strength unto his people. The Lord will bless his people with peace. So no matter what turmoil or chaos is happening around, God can part that troubling water for you while you walk across nonsense on dry ground and leave that crap behind you. Okay, now Psalms 25. Unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. O my God, I trust in thee. Let me not be ashamed. Let not mine enemies triumph over me. Yea, let none that wait on thee be ashamed. Let them be ashamed which transgress without a cause. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me. For thou art the God of my salvation. On thee do I wait all day. Remember, O Lord, thy tender mercies and thy loving kindnesses, for they have ever been of old. Mm. Remember not the sins of my youth, nor my transgressions. According to thy mercy, remember thou me, for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore will he teach sinners in the way. The meek will he guide in judgment. And the meek will he teach his way. All the paths of the Lord are mercy and truth. Unto such as keep his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon mine iniquity, for it is great. What man is he that feareth the Lord? Him shall he teach in the way that he shall choose. His soul shall dwell at ease. Woo! And his seed shall inherit the earth. The secret of the Lord is with them that fear him. And he will show them his covenant. In other words, when he says he will show them, he will demonstrate. Mm. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. Hallelujah. Turn thee unto me and have mercy upon me, for I am desolate and afflicted. The troubles of my heart are enlarged. Oh, bring thou me out of my distresses. Look upon mine affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. Consider mine enemies, for they are many, and they hate me with a cruel hatred. O oh, keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be ashamed, for I put my trust in thee. Let integrity and uprightness preserve me, for I wait on thee. Redeem Israel, O oh God, out of all his troubles. Apply that to us, Lord. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> you know the thing? Sorry, I get emotional sometimes when I read the word. Because it reminds me of how much God wants to bless us and come to our rescue and deliver us. How mindful he is of us. And I thank him for that. Oh, sorry. Anyway, so no matter what happens, no matter what challenges may arise, remember, God is on your side. Because you're keeping the covenant, you're striving to please him. 